I mean, that, that, that's the way that works, right, Kim Picasso? We, we run to the family court when somebody threatens us on YouTube, right? That, that, that how that works? That's, that, that's the only process. But I could have swore that orders of protection can be gotten through the criminal process. Hmm. Talk about what we were talking about before we were rudely interrupted. You know, obviously what they're pissed off about is Tim's case. So let's talk about this domestic violence and where's the standing in law to use that form under the criteria knowing, number one, there never was any familial relationship. And number two, they were, there's at least a thousand miles of real estate between the two of them. The two of you keep coming back to the domestic violence concept because it's the only argument you have. The only problem is that argument is marred in fallacy. I've proven this before. I'm going to go ahead and prove it again because it won't take long. The form submitted by Ms. Picasso was the form 12.980T. This is the form barring individuals from stalking. It's very clear in the instructions on the form that if you are going to file an injunction based on domestic violence concerns that you should fill out form 12.980A. Ms. Picasso filled out the correct form. It was in no way associated with domestic violence. This is the only argument that you have and you keep falling back on it even though it's been proven to be false. You're amateurs and Mr. Pendergrass was appropriately treated as such by the Minnesota court. So where's the crime scene within that real estate somewhere? Here's your crime scene, Mr. Hallett, Mr. Pendergrass, and there are 176 pages of it. The fact that the two of you continue to support Mr. Holmseth and that you fail to acknowledge the fact that he's a sexual deviant and a stalker is astounding not only to myself but to a great many people. The nature of the communication that Mr. Holmseth sent to Ms. Picasso does not constitute freedom of speech. It is harassment, it is stalking, and it is sexual in nature. You may think that this type of behavior is acceptable, but you are most certainly the minority. Mm -hmm. Where was the act of violence? Let's just leave domestic out of it for a minute. Let's just talk about the violence. Where was it? And the answer is it doesn't exist. So, you know, this is why I say when their liars are caught and they're cold busted, this is the exact behavior that you can expect. Exact behavior. That's why I said this just cracks me up to watch this crap happen because they're literally imploding on themselves. So, anyway. Oh. I You're offering that. to discuss this live. Discuss what? We've already put it in, in writing, dude. Go read the documents. Yeah, they're on the record. Have fun. Yeah, it's in the court of record. Feel free to go look it up. Mm-hmm. If you, I'm not responsible for your lack of comprehension. Sorry, yeah. dude. Yeah. If you, if Actually, you don't quite Spirit comprehend that Article 4, Section point. 4 says right. what domestic violence is. Let's read Article 4, Section 4, shall we? The United States shall guarantee to every state in this union a Republican form of government and shall protect each of them against invasion and on application of the legislature or of the executive when the legislature cannot be convened against domestic violence. The term domestic has multiple meanings. The term domestic can mean inside the home and the term domestic can mean within the borders of a country, i.e not foreign or international. In modern times, the term domestic violence encompasses a wide variety of different concepts. Child abuse, spousal abuse, assaulting your roommate, assaulting someone who lives with you, or a friend of someone who lives with you. An assault that takes place inside the home is considered domestic violence. And it's common to see this terminology change over the years. For example, the term domestic violence as it was used in the Constitution in modern times has been replaced with terms like domestic terrorism civil unrest. I discussed this concept previously in a video directed toward Field McConnell where I discussed John Locke and how life, liberty, and estate became life, liberty, and property and then morphed into life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. This is the same concept, but it doesn't change the fact that Mr. Pendergrass and Mr. Howard are using a red herring argument.
it doesn't change the fact that Ms. Picasso did in fact fill out the correct form when she filed the injunction against Mr. Holmseth, and domestic violence was not a factor. Mr. Pendergrass and Mr. Howard are attempting to cloud the issue by releasing these large volumes of information regarding domestic violence, when domestic violence was never in play. They're doing this to confuse the listener in the hopes that they will lose sight of the fact that their whole argument is based on a fallacy to start with. Because I'm sure that's, that's who it was, somebody like oh, that. Oh, he's trying to say that I misquoted. No, 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 no. No, 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 oh, no dude, S I, screw him. Screw here's him. a certified copy right here, dude, from the record. Notice how Mr. Hallett understands the direction that this is going, and he's trying to get Mr. Pendergrass to stop engaging me. Mr. Hallett seems to be the only one that understands that they got it wrong and that I can prove it. He's running damage control at this point. Interference, so to speak. So, when, you, when you properly record your power of attorney, in fact, you actually get an attorney number. Oh, oh. let me stop sharing so you right can there. do that. A stands for attorney. Office of the County Recorder. That's right. This has been recorded at the County Recorder's Office, giving me an attorney number. Okay. You do not have to so, be a member of the bar to be an attorney. Having someone grant you power of attorney does not mean that you're an attorney. It means that someone granted you power of attorney to make legal decisions for them. When you are granted power of attorney, you do not become a licensed attorney, Mr. Pendergrass. You're simply a power of attorney. Just to give you an example, if you become power of attorney for your father, and your father becomes incapacitated, and for some reason you have to go to court on his behalf, let's say it was a bill collector or something. You're not going to go into court without an attorney. The court is not going to recognize you as an attorney for your father. If you were a legal expert, you would know that. Um, <clears throat> well, these guys are good. They got, they got, my, they got my phone number. But now they're calling so me. How in the heck do you guys get my phone number? It's what we do, Mr. Pendergrass. And the thing that I find most striking about all of this is the fact that you are so confident in your live stream. But when you are faced with the prospect of debating this live, you shied away. You retreated, just like your friend Field McConnell. You know that your argument does not hold up to scrutiny. Mr. McConnell knows that his argument does not hold up to scrutiny. This tells me that you're deliberately participating in a campaign of misinformation. And to what end? If you would uh, like to make a personal private donation to me over here through PayPal or Chris, my PayPal is on the YouTube channel, which is uh, Kirk underscore Pendergrass at Hotmail.com. And I am going to put the office address... in here so you all can see that you can send postal money order cashier's check money regular money order cash wrapped in aluminum foil whatever i don't know how you look in the mirror every day mr pendergrass without dying of shame and embarrassment you need to give up law and stick to being a mechanic next time i need my car fixed i'll give you a call and as far as you're concerned mr hallett I don't take legal advice from deadbeat dads. That's all I have for you.